Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make my insanely rich mushroom pies. That's all that is in there, just mushrooms. If you uh, don't like mushrooms, we'll carry on to the next video. I've got a knob of butter in a fry pan, and we're just gonna melt that down, and I'm gonna add in one onion, roughly chopped. Don't worry, we're gonna cook this down for a while, and it'll cook all that onion down into a beautiful little soft packet of flavor. All right, I'm gonna add in 600 grams of sliced mushrooms. Look, I'm cheating here. I've just bought the pre-sliced mushrooms, and I'll put those straight in with that butter and the onion, and another 600 grams. So at the moment, we're sitting at 1.2 kilo, or I mean about, uh, what do you call that, six pounds or something? I don't know. Now, I've added in some stock. That stock is a master stock. It comes from making a lot of Asian soups. And when you finish making the Asian soup, you strain it, you freeze it, and you use that again. So it intensifies with flavor the more you cook. I'm gonna add in a little bit of parsley straight over the top like that. Mm, yum. And we're just gonna cook these off real nice and slow. A little bit of garlic powder, use fresh garlic if you want to. Not a problem there, but uh, the garlic powder is just gonna uh, incorporate itself in with all that liquid. Now, freshly ground black pepper, and that is a must, freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna give that a boatload of that. We're probably around about the equivalent to three teaspoons worth. I've got another 600 grams of mushrooms. We've been cooking those first mushrooms off for around about two, two and a half hours, nice and slow. And they're uh, basically just disintegrating now and uh, forming their own beautiful sauce. And the smell in the kitchen is just amazing. Season up with a little bit of salt. And if you think so, add a little bit more pepper. All right. I've got around about two, maybe three tablespoons worth of flour there. A little bit of water, just cold water, even though I'm using a jug. We're gonna mix that through to make a slurry, and this is gonna help thicken our gravy up. Now, a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Doesn't need a lot. This is an amazing flavor. Give it a quick taste. Make sure it's all up to your standard and your preference. If you need to add more garlic, do so. If you need to add more chives or something like that, you can also do that as well. Keep stirring that around and thicken that beautiful sauce all the way up like that. Look, oh, how good does that look? We're gonna get our pastry. We're gonna cut the, our uh, pastry to size. Look, I've already got a uh, predetermined size for my little uh, pie dishes and put that uh, puff pastry straight in. It's just store-bought puff pastry that goes straight in like that. Make sure it all fits nice and easily and nice and even. And we're gonna cut our lids at the same time. As you can see, we can cut the, uh, the base and the lid out of one sheet of pastry, just like I'm doing right there. I'm gonna put those lids aside and make sure you uh, separate those with a little bit of paper. We're going to blind bake these, so I just use a muffin case that goes straight in on top of the pastry like that. Now we're going to get some baking beans and put those straight in. I actually use bean beans, not the uh, the plastic or the metal ones. I actually use real beans. I've bought those uh, when they've been at a discounted price at my supermarket. Put those on a tray and we're going to cook those off in an oven at 180, 190 degrees for around about 10 minutes. Once that's done, we're going to remove all of those beans straight out and you will get the stray bean that will just skip that pan. Alright, now we're going to fill our little uh, cases up with our mushroom filling, just like I'm doing right there. Put our lid straight over the top, like that. Oh, I'm already salivating. We're going to crimp that down using the uh, the back of a fork, just like I am doing right there. 
and give that a brush just with a little bit of milk. We're not going to use an egg wash, we're just going to use a little bit of milk straight over the top, give that a quick little brush, a little bit of a paint job, and we're going to get a little knife and cut some vents straight in the top. Around about three holes is around about enough, and it will let the steam out and keep our pies nice and crunchy. In the meantime, I've already got a salad happening on the side, and we're going to get that, put that straight on our plate like that. The deep fryer is going bananas and we're ready to serve. So you can add one, maybe two pies. Hey, look, I'm a gus, I get hungry. I'm gonna get two of these beautiful little pies. They can go straight on our plate just like that. I'm gonna add some nice little crinkle cut chips, potato chips, just like that, straight on top, and maybe a couple of onion rings as well. Absolutely perfect all round meal absolutely beautiful thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too these kp's mushroom pies nothing but mushroom and a dash of onion don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media we're trying to grow this channel but if you want to learn how to make a really cool little snack foods like this we well, you need to come and join the family my family hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again all right i'm off to eat my beautiful mushroom pies onion rings chips and a little bit of salad just to keep healthy and i will catch you next time bye